this year. As Geelong will move it forward again. Barber to jump against Laloifi. Last week they only had the one tackle inside 50, did the Cats. So, really good start. Higgins is there. Laloifi at ground level. Someone else has gone crashing in. Wood. Oh, a little shove. That's surely front on pressure. O'Connor. And Ivy really just saved a long one there. Left their opponent in Vessio to put the pressure on Stevens. Cranston, a bit of frustration there. She's given away the free kick to Laloifi. Yeah, a little bit unnecessary there. It was one on one and you'd back in Cranston's body size against Laloifi. So Laloifi told to go now. Waves her teammates across towards the boundary line. Says that's where I'm gonna go. And Moody sticks up the big mitts. A little tussle behind play from Harrington. And this time, Laloifi's got a little sharp, so it'll be 50. That one courtesy of McDonald. A little choppy little Laloifi. Felt that one in the side. This is going to take her, well, within range. She's going for the wave behind, saying, Mimi, come past here and have a shot. It gets away from Gearin. Goes towards Cranston. It's been a great battle, her, Cranston and Laloifi. Similar types who just go hard at the outfit as Rocky Cranston just comes on. He almost stole that out of her. <laughs> Spinning in a tight circle and then loading up Laloifi in best position. And this time she takes it, makes no mistake. But they're getting those repeat entries, aren't they, the Cats? You look at the inside 50 count and it's 27 to 24 now. So they're certainly getting the ball in their forward arc and they've had. As Maloney sends the Cats inside 50, but Laloifi in best position, able to chop it off and take it on her chest. Looks wide to Wilson, dangerous kick. Rankin